What's poppin everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at my Marvel Funko Pop collection. So starting off down here we have Dancing Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy number 65 and this is of course when he was still in the plant from the first movie at the end set green. Then we have Doctor Strange from the Doctor Strange movie number 169. Moving on we have Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy with his flaming yet flaming jetpack on the back. That's why he has the flames in there, if you can see, holding both of the guns. Then moving on, we have the Hulk from Thor Ragnarok, when he's in his berserker mode in the arena, which is really cool with all of war, the war paint and everything. Then moving on, we're going to my Infinity War collection. So first up, we have Iron Man, and I think this sculpt is really cool with him having his blaster out. Then, moving on, we have number 286, which is Thor from Infinity War, when he's holding Stormbreaker. If you can see, it's a really cool axe and really cool design. Then, we have a 6-inch character, which is Hulk, with Hulk busting out of the Hulk Buster, which is, of course, from Infinity War. Of course, this scene was never in the movie itself, but this pop is really cool. And if you want, I will do a separate unboxing of that one. Moving on, we have Iron Spider from Infinity War, and this is a really cool design as well with the, it's almost, I think they should have made this one metallic, it is not, but uh, almost. Then we have Thanos from Infinity War, of course, with him wielding the gauntlet, with having him completed all of the Infinity Stones. Then we have Black Widow from Infinity War. Moving on, we have Young Gamora from Infinity War, with her holding the tiny little knife on her finger that Thanos gave her. Then we also have Bucky Barnes from Infinity War, with him, of course, going back from Wakanda and joining the fight. Then we have Bruce Banner, number 419, with him trying to become the Hulk but doesn't succeed. So his face is starting to turn green as well as his hands, but as we all know, he never could complete it. Then, another 6-inch character, we have the Hulk from Endgame, with him wielding the Infinity Gauntlet in his hand. Then, moving up, starting with the Endgame line, we have Tony Stark, Captain America, the Hulk, Thor, wielding Stormbreaker once again. We have Thanos again, but this one is the different Thanos, the time travels with the giant blade in his hand. It's a bit difficult to spot at the moment, but it's there. Then we have Black Widow with a bit of her blonde hair at the end. Then moving on, we have Thanos on Throne, which is of course from the first Guardian movie when he's first shown. Then moving on, we have Ant-Man. We have Nebula, Hawkeye with his regular starting to become Ronan when he's starting to kill everyone which is a really cool design they gave. And there's also an exclusive version of this where he has the hoodie up as well as the uh, cover above his face. But I never managed to pick that one up, so I'm still looking for that one. Then we have War Machine. We have Captain Marvel. And then we have an exclusive version of the Hulk uh, wearing his particular, like, suit as well. So these are all the Endgame Pops that have the suit version that came with the first wave, except for some of the exclusives that I'm still searching for. Then we also have Casual Thor from Endgame, and as well as Rescue from Endgame. And then, moving on, we have some Spider-Man Far From Home pops. We have Spider-Man in his upgraded suit, which I think is a really cool design, the way it looks like he's leaping from the side of the box. Then we have MJ with the club in her hand, with the mace, of course, from the final moments of this scene. Then we also have Mysterio, which is a really cool design pop with all of the green as well as the cloud. And there's also an exclusive version of this where you can see his face in the helmet. But I think this one is cooler. Then we have some of the chrome pops that they released. I believe they released one for almost every of the Marvel characters, but I have Iron Man, Captain America, and as well as the Iron Spider, which was a fan vote winner that Marvel released. Then, then some other Marvel Pops that I have 
is Green Goblin with his fire pumpkin in the hand, which is an Underground Toys exclusive for me. We also have Selfie Gwenpool from the 2017 Summer Convention with her, of course, holding the selfie stick. And I really think they should bring Gwenpool into the Marvel Universe, the MCU, because she's such a fun character and she gives it a bit of a different spin than the regular Deadpool. Then we have Comic Book Thor from the 2019 Spring Convention. So this is of course him from the comic book, so this is not based on the MCU version of Thor, but still really cool design pop. And then finally, we have Stan Lee from Iron Man, which is a 2020 Summer Convention exclusive. So there you have it. This is my complete Marvel collection at the moment. If you want any separate reviews and unboxing of any of the characters, please comment down below and I will get right to it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and click subscribe if you're not already a new subscriber. And I will see you the next time. Bye.